Hello. So this is a short tutorial on flashing OpenBK. So first you need to get your firmware file first. So mine is a CB3S, it's an N chip. So I'll get that one. This one. Now you gotta get to this link for the tool for flashing, which is the HID download. So this is a 3B through SD device. Uh, I've already connected all the pins there. We got the, uh, the the ADC pin here, the ground pin, and you got the TX and RX. So be sure to just refer to the what do you call that the TR docs for your for your chips. Anyway start flashing it now the way it works with two your chips is that you need to either ground the C and pin here to the ground C and to the ground or you just or you just disconnect and reconnect the power again for, for the ADC right here I'll show you how to do that so now this is the command line you need to use. So I have an N device, so I'll, go, I'll use the first command here. Okay, right before flash, you're gonna disconnect and connect the power, the pin, the ACD pin. Now sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to keep uh, retry again. Touch the charm. Okay, once that's done, you should see an open BK access point there. So you connect to it. But if you're not assigned IP address, then you're gonna need to uh, manually uh, configure the IP address. Just go to 192.168.4.1 This is the home page for OpenBK Now you see these two toggle relays because I already set up this device before this So this is where you can change anything in the config We have the QTT, the Wi-Fi and a bunch of other settings For the module, that's where you can assign the pin Which one is relay, the LED or the buttons And then uh, do I have device groups which is similar to the models? Uh, you can go to launch web applications. This is where you can find the uh, page to for OTA upload. So this is where you can just drop the RBL file. And that's it.